hey guys so welcome to another video and yes, i'm going to be showing you guys how to create random textures from a single texture at last let's go so i already have blender loaded up here i'm just going to scale this cube on the x-axis sx and just scale it on the z-axis also so that we have something that looks like a cereal box okay so then if you just create a new texture right so at this point we can bring in our texture atlas so our texture atlas is is this so i'm just going to drag this in at so i'm just going to drag this into the shader menu and connect the texture to the base color I'm just going to do the rendered view so if i see what we're doing and then put on our hdri uh now our hdri is on what we're going to do next is to Look, let's quickly switch off the background so that we're going to have a completely transparent background so we can just focus on the share box right now i'll have this set up what we're going to do next is go to our edit mode click on you and then we can do our qbd project so what we're going to do next is to click on ctrl t so we can bring in our texture coordinate node and our mapping node now if you don't have this setup just go to edit preference and turn on the node wrangler over here and you want to click ctrl t anywhere in the shader editor we can have our texture coordinate and our mapping node so what i'm going to do is to separate our texture coordinate node so we can affect only the mapping node before we do that we need to set up our uv, UV map so we can click ctrl and spacebar and so these are our uv islands we're just going to press e to select everything and scale it all down just move it to one part of the serial box let us scale this down g and sy let's just scale it in the world axis so now we put gy and get it as close as possible to this edge and then gx as possible to the edge let's also do this one gy and we can bring it down now we have this all set up but notice that when we duplicate this box we are all duplicating the same texture it's not randomly choosing a different serial box so what we're going to do to make this change we're going to bring in first of all we're going to bring in our object info node so we can use the random function to affect the location but before we do that let's bring in our combined xyz so that i'll just combine xyz can bring in our combined xyz node so that we can affect the x and the y axis separately so we're just going to connect the vector to location and the random node to the x axis now we have some some changes going on to the serial box all right so in between the combine node and the object info we're going to bring in a mat node so what the mat node is going to do basically is to help us with the selection let me show you how we're just going to quickly switch this to the snap snap function or we can just come to this place since we see that the first row we have four serial boxes we can just do one divided by four i will notice that this is snapped on to different boxes on this x-axis you know now let me let me go back to when it was one you will see that why would duplicate i just duplicate only one color texture but what we do one divided by four you would see that while we're duplicating we're selecting a different texture every time we duplicate and it's all from this x-axis why because we have not affected the y-axis yet so we're going to do to what to the y-axis is just <clears throat> you just copy the same node and just control that into the y-axis now we have the y-axis working but we don't have we don't have the fraction correct because this is still one divided by four serial boxes instead of one divided by three serial boxes that we have on the y-axis so what we're going to do is to change this to one divided by three and we see that our texture is now flush with the box the way it should be and when we duplicate we are also getting uh we are also getting textures from the y-axis also as you can see 
but there are still some textures that we're not getting. Why? Because the um, we have not plugged the infiltration or white noise. Now, what this white noise is going to do is going to make sure that every pick we're going to pick is not going to be the same as the x-axis. So we're just going to bring in the white noise and now we have this and whenever we duplicate our box we're going to have a new selection every time we it's a simple shelf no let's just scale this so I avoid the shading errors scale this on the y axis a bit and then we can select this face and scale on the x axis so now we have the serial boxes ready to go and the shelf. Should be X. And notice that every time we are selecting a new serial box, the serial boxes are so small. I don't want to press them. In GZ. So that's cool. We can also do this for. Let's quickly make one for the Pringles container so let's just create a new scene a cylinder and just kill it on this axis just a rough base for what the primrose look like so i'm going to do i'm just going to bring in a texture like we did the last time and then Control t bring in our object info node like we did and then bring in our combined xyz node basically so you will to connect this to the location axis and connect the random to the x-axis but we've not set this up in the UV so I'm going to select all and instead of cube projection or cylinder projection let's do project from view with bounds now you see why I did that let's switch to the linear node and scale and just scale to occupy one part of the primal label as much as I can and then scale on the y-axis let's just move on the y-axis also and now that we have that set up, we see that we can now cannot bring in our map node and change this to snap. Right? So it's now snapped to one of the Pringle. Now, instead of 1 divided by 4 like we did in the former one, this time around, I'm going to do 1 divided by 5. So that's 1 divided by 5. And whenever we duplicate one of these containers, you see that we have a new Pringle, but it's all on the X axis. Why? Because we have not created a duplicate for the Y axis. And if you see the Y axis is 1 divided by 3 set of Pringle's row. So that's 1 divided by 3. So what we're going to do now is to just bring in a white noise to affect that so that every time we duplicate we have a different Pringle variation. Um, so I'm just going to play around with this and try to create a scene. That's it guys. So long and at least in the next one. Peace.